Hey guys, it's Caleb from JC Sports, and today I'm going to interview Juan Castilla. Juan Castilla is a professional soccer player that has recently signed to his first professional contract with the Houston Dynamo. By signing Juan, the Houston Dynamo has signed their youngest ever homegrown player. Juan, who was born in Colombia, becomes the 13th Dynamo Academy player to sign a professional contract. Hi Juan, how are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. How are you? Thank you for having me too. Would you like to say a couple of things about yourself for those people that may not know you? Uh, so I play soccer, obviously, and I've been playing for, for as long as I can remember. And it's just something I'm really passionate about. And I just signed uh, my first professional contract and I'm really just Looking forward to the future and seeing what God has in store for me. Did you play any other sports growing up? Uh, I I did gymnastics, swimming, and skating. Those are like the three things I did. But then as I got older, it was just like too much. So I just focused on soccer. How did you become interested in playing soccer? And so So my dad actually played soccer growing up. And I was born in Colombia, so over there, everything is soccer. So as soon as I was born, it was just all around me, and uh, I was kind of brought into the sport through, through my family. What position do you play, and what is your favorite position to play? I play anywhere in the midfield. It uh, doesn't really matter, but I prefer playing more attacking midfield because like, you're closer to the goal, and you can score goals. But in general, just in the midfield. Is there a difference with training your with your academy team and with Dynamo team? Yeah, obviously there's a big difference uh, physically because they're all professional athletes and they've been doing it for a while now. And it's just everything is faster, not only physically, but uh, mentally because um, the passes are played harder and just the tempo of everything is faster. So it makes you think quicker. That's probably the biggest difference between academy and first team. What do you like the most about playing soccer? Uh, winning, I would say. That's what, that's what we all play for. So whenever I'm on the field and I win, just you play for that feeling, you know. What, do you train a lot on your own? Uh, yeah, so all my life, probably like starting uh, seventh grade, I trained twice a day and it was just a lot of, a lot of sacrifices because of, uh, you'd have to wake up early to be able to train and go to school. So, uh, I, I would train twice a day normally and one session would be on my own working on my personal goals and what I want to get better as an individual and then in the afternoon it was it would be with my team so we can work on things together what do you do for fun that's not related to soccer uh that's, that's a tough question uh I probably I probably just play video games play FIFA uh, play stuff with my friends but not really not really anything that I have apart from soccer how did you manage your schedule as like going to school and practicing? Uh, so when I was younger, it was actually really hard because uh, I would have to wake up like at six so I could get a training session in before going to school. But now I do online school and so does all of the academy, academy kids. So we have more time to train and work on things on the field while still being able to have that flexible schedule with the schooling. How did you feel when you found out that you were, that you were going to play professional? Uh, obviously it's a feeling that uh, I always remember, but it's hard to put into words, you know? It's something that me and my family have worked for all my life. So just after all the sacrifices and all the hard work, uh, seeing it pay off like that, especially at so early, uh, it's just really special. 
Do you have tips you have for kids of my age who want to play professionally? Um, I would probably say just keep working hard and, you know, you're always going to have bad training sessions, bad games, and uh, it's something that you really need to learn from because when I was younger, when I would lose, I would just – it would just make me so mad that I wouldn't focus on what I could do better next time to either play better and help the team. So just try to learn as much you can from, from everyone around you. And I mean, uh, for most kids, uh, your parents are making a lot of sacrifices for you to be able to train and make sure you appreciate that. Cause not, not a lot of people are, are lucky enough to have uh, families that support them. And so just be grateful for everything you have around you and, work hard so now it's time to play a game this game is called the 60 second challenge i will give you a variety of questions and you have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can are you ready yeah i'm Three, ready two one go cats or dogs dogs favorite soccer player uh ronaldo favorite soccer team other than the one that you've played for Real Madrid. Do you know how to cook? No. Should pizzas have pineapples? Yes. A movie that makes you cry? None. Favorite TV show? Friends. Who is your best friend? Uh, I have too many. No, well, I have a few, but I can't name them all right now. How many languages do you speak? Uh, English and Spanish, so too. Do you use your phone a lot? Yes, I'm on my phone a lot. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Outscoring the opponent or a goal in the last minute? A goal in the last minute. Would you ever skydive? Yes. Favorite music artist? Oh, time's up. All right. <laughs> so... How many do you think you got? Probably like 10, 10, 8. You actually got um, 13. Oh, 13. Okay. I was close. I was close. So thank you for being with me and answering all my questions. And to those who are watching, thanks for tuning in. And if you'd like to see any of my previous videos, go to the YouTube channel, JC Sports Houston. There you will be able to see other training videos, interviews, and fun sports videos. See you guys next time. Bye. Yeah.